Hello, hockey fans. Well, we have a series. Yes, um, it didn't look that way, though. Um, uh, Florida did score first, and um, but uh, Vegas tied it up right back, and uh, they took that lead in the second period, late in the second. And even though it was a one-goal game, when, when the second period ended, I went, well, looks like it's going to be over. And I, I mean, I didn't know what to think. I mean, I just watched. Remember now, we just I just watched two games that saw the Panthers just outplayed, outsmarted, and outclassed, while the Panthers look like a discombobulated mess. So, even though, so of course, even though it was a one goal game, the slimmest of margins, I thought, well, this, they're not going to get out of this, and it certainly looked that way because the third period was going by and they weren't tied the game until they pulled Bobrovsky. And it was, guess who, Mac Chuck. He really, you know, he, he's, he, he's, he's bucking for that con smite should they pull this out and win it. But um, he tied it up, and overtime was nigh, but a penalty was called. And yes, I'm air recording because that was a mighty suspect call. Those are the ones Vegas usually gets, but it usually gets in their favor. But they got the power play, Border killed it. And then... They got control of the puck, and Carter Verhage shoots it, and it goes right past Aiden Hill. Congratulations to the Panthers. They finally, finally won a Stanley Cup final game for the first time in their 30-year franchise history. 29 seasons of play, though, but 30 years. Um, yeah, because they lost their first six. They became only the second team in NHL history to lose their first six Cup final games. Joining the St. Louis Blues, who lost their first 13 on that very short and embarrassing list. But yeah, the Panthers did it. They finally won a game in the Cup Final. And now we have a series. It's only 2-1. 2-1 is manageable. 2-1 is manageable. And of course, for the Panthers, this was their first home Cup Final game since... Since... Um, June 10th, 1996, when the Avs completed that sweep. And on June 10th, 2023, they will host Game 4 and not have to worry about getting swept again. And yes, that streak continues. This, this That streak continues. No, There have been no sweeps in the Cup Finals since 98 when Detroit swept the, um, swept the Capitals. But yeah, Florida basically played their game. Yes, they were down late, but they scratched and clawed and found their way back. And now, again, we have a series. It's 2-1. to one. And Game 4 is um, is Saturday night. And um, the Panthers have a chance to even this thing and earn one final home game this year. So yeah, Game 4 is going to tell the tale. Either, either Florida evens it, it's 2-2, or Vegas steals it. And they can go back home with a chance to win their first cup. So, we'll see what happens. But anyway, that is my recap of Game 3. It was amazing. We got to see overtime. And uh, it was it was just over four minutes. But still, playoff overtime is always good. So, if you like this video, click the like button. Click subscribe if you want more. Um, my, story, my story recapping uh, Game 3 will be in the description. So... Check it out when you can, and I'll be back on Saturday to recap Game 4, so stay tuned.